everyone, Miss Diorio here from Citizenship Academy with your skills lesson for today. So we're going to switch gears a little bit. We've been talking a lot about sounds and different spellings for the sounds. Now we're going to put that to use and we're going to start some writing. So you guys have done a little bit of writing so far this year in school. We wrote narratives, which are remember like stories like what we had for dinner last night or what we did on a field trip. We've also done a book report. That was the one we wrote about the Green Fern Zoo. When you picked an animal from the Green Fern Zoo, you did a planning sheet, and then you did a draft, and then we edited it, and then we published it. Huge book report, right? That was awesome. And we're not gonna do that though. We're gonna start opinion writing, okay? Opinion writing is when you tell somebody about your opinion. Now your opinion is what you personally believe or personally think. So for example, I think that hot summer days are the best. I love hot summer days. However, not everyone thinks that. Some people really like snowy days in the winter. Some people don't like the hot weather, things like that. So my opinion, what I personally think is that summer days are the best. Now, the opposite of that is a fact. A fact is something that can be proven. So it can be proven that in the summer, the temperature rises. It gets hot, we can look at a thermostat, we know the temperature rises. My opinion is that when the temperature rises and it's really hot, it's awesome, okay? So we have facts and opinions. We're gonna write about opinions, but it's important that you know what facts are too. So I found a really cool flow vocabulary video, I think you're gonna like it a lot, that ex better explains the difference between facts and opinions. So I'll put that on for you right now make myself go away. There we go. I'm the best rapper. Is that a fact or is that an opinion? Let's find out. I need a fact. That's something I can prove. All over the map I know my fact is true. I have an opinion. That's something I believe. A feeling that I have about the world around me. I need a fact. That's something I can prove All over the map I know my fact is true I have an opinion That's something I believe A feeling that I have about the world around me A fact is something you can prove No matter who's looking It's gonna be true Like this man was born in 1922 That's a factual statement We can see if it's true We've got his birth certificate Hmm, let's see That fact is true don't take it from me, or Jupiter is way bigger than Mars And I know finding planets in the sky is hard But scientists have measured both planets And given us the answer, it's a fact, understand it? What's an opinion? A feeling or belief? You can't prove it Well, let's see, like We should get paid to go to school Hmm, some people might not think that's cool That's because it's an opinion, you can't prove it Different people think different things, get used to it. I need a fact, that's something I can prove. All over the map, I know my fact is true. I have an opinion, that's something I believe. A feeling that I have about the world around me. I need a fact, that's something I can prove. All over the map, I know my fact is true. I have an opinion, that's something I believe. A feeling that I have about the world around me. You can always support your opinions with facts Using evidence, and we should all do that A supported opinion, sign me up Like we should get paid to go to school Because school is like our job We do it all day, we don't get time off Except on holidays I just supported my opinion, it's still not a fact You might all agree, but we'll leave it at that And how did you know it was my opinion Cause I used a trigger word Check some out, listen, if I say that you should or that I think or feel It's my opinion, yeah, you know the deal Not all opinions have trigger words though I could say the best ice cream is cookie dough I didn't say I think, but it's still not a fact Just an opinion and I guess that's a wrap But before we bring the hook around again I'll warn you about false facts, yeah that's when Something sounds like a fact, but it's not true Like the U.S. Capitol is Kalamazoo I need a fact, that's something I can prove 
all over the map, I know my fact is true I have an opinion, that's something I believe A feeling that I have about the world around me I need a fact, that's something I can prove All over the map, I know my fact is true I have an opinion, that's something I believe A feeling that I have about the world around me I love that song. Most important thing to remember from that video, fact is something you can prove, opinion is something you believe. So we're going to put that to the test. I'm going to give you a couple statements. I want you to either tell me if it's a fact or an opinion. Okay, here's number one. Dogs are animals. Fact, we can prove that, right? Dogs are animals, we know that. Number two. Dogs are the smartest animals. What if I think dolphins are the smartest animals? Or panda bears? That would be an opinion. We don't, we can't prove that. We don't know that. That's my opinion. Number three, math is the best subject. Is that a fact? That's an opinion. That's somebody's opinion. That's Miss O'Donnell's opinion. That math is the best subject. Maybe you might like gym. You might like social studies. Your opinion. Um, number five, the color, or oh, sorry, number four, the color of the grass is green. It's a fact. We can go outside. We can look at the grass. It's green. The prettiest color is purple. You might not agree with that, so that would be an opinion. You might think the prettiest color is blue. That's your opinion. That's something you believe. Last one. John goes to Citizenship Academy. We can prove that, right? We can look at his list. We see him at school. That's a fact. All right. So when we start getting into the writing, how this works is the writer states their opinion. So... Purple is the prettiest color. Then they give reasons why they think that's, why they believe that, why that's their opinion. And they use that wonderful word, one of my favorite words in the entire world. They use the word because. Love that word and that word tells us why. So for example, if I go back to my summer example, I think hot summer days are the best because I can go swimming because I can go swimming. Gotta use the word because, okay? So I want you to talk to somebody in your house, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, brother, sister, your dog, cat, whoever's there. I want you to tell them your opinion about your favorite animal. So you're gonna say, my favorite animal is blankety blankety blank because blankety blankety blank. Okay, make sure you use the word because. So for example, my favorite animal is a monkey because I like the way they jump between trees. You can share yours now. Yeah. All right. Remember to use the word because when you're sharing your opinion. In the next video, we're going to get into an opinion paragraph. But for now, all I want you to do is... Share your opinion and then either type it up in a Google Doc for me, type it up in Class Dojo for me, type it up on the comments on Google Classroom. Share your opinion of your favorite animal. My favorite animal is blankety blankety blank because blankety blankety blank. Don't forget you have to spell because right. B-E-C-A-U-S-E. And I'll see you soon.